Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today at Everything a Marketer Should Know About Drupal 9, brought to you by Open Software. Now, if you haven't heard about Open, we are a leading digital agency who provides strategic guidance, creative design, and software development within North America. As for myself, my name is Ryan Pelicos. I am a Drupal marketing specialist at Open Software. So why are we here today? There's a ton of information covering about how Drupal is making developers' lives easier, but how does it help marketers, content creators, editors, and project managers? Together, we're going to cover some of the key features of Drupal 9 that make the lives of marketers and content creators much, much easier. So what we're going to cover today, why migrate to Drupal 9, what's new in Drupal 8 and 9, Drupal timelines, should you upgrade to Drupal 8 or 9, and your next steps afterwards. So let's get into it. Why move to Drupal 9 at all? Are we missing out on anything? Should we bother making the move? At Open, we get questions like this every day. The big question we keep hearing more and more is why should I upgrade to Drupal 9 at all? So why is Drupal 9 such a big deal and how does it benefit my ability or your ability to create and edit content? Well, as Dries Bytart, the founder of Drupal puts it, the big deal about Drupal 9 is that it shouldn't be a big deal at all. The best way to be ready for Drupal 9 is to keep up with Drupal updates. A bit anticlimactic, I know, but when you take a step back and really look at everything Drupal 8 has done for us, it's a quiet and powerful statement. So if the upgrade isn't a big deal, why all the hype? If you're currently on D7, D6, or not even on Drupal at all, to understand the implications of this newest major Drupal update, it's important to look back at all the minor releases of Drupal 8 that have culminated to this point and look at all the tremendous changes that have been made in order to set the foundation for what Drupal 9 will become. The D9 upgrade itself isn't even the best part. It's that Drupal is seemingly finished with the major time-consuming migrations. The culmination of all D8 updates has set the foundation of what Drupal is today and what it will be going forward. A lot of people look at Drupal and see an overwhelming amount of time and work to learn, but the reality is that Drupal has been tirelessly working to create and make everything much easier for everyone. Moving from D8 to D9 is essentially a simple upgrade, meaning you won't have to rebuild your entire site, which is great news. By upgrading to D8, you're setting yourself up for a low-cost website capable of performing far into the future. D9 will also continue to be a more user-friendly platform, allowing you to have the peace of mind that it's providing an out-of-the-box type usability with the same robust, flexible, scalable, secure CMS that we all know and love with Drupal. But at the end of the day, when you undertake a migration, your technical team or service agency that you hire will migrate a ton of content, but more often than not, there will be a lot of manual content movements to make, and that will fall into the hands of us content creators and editors who need a usable platform as I just mentioned, to understand everything that has culminated towards the release of Drupal 9, we have to go back in time and see what Drupal 8 has set the foundation for. So what's new and exciting for us content folks? Well, Drupal 8 builds on the strengths of 6 and 7 while bringing exciting new functionalities to the table. If you haven't already upgraded your website to Drupal 8, it's probably time to get on board. Your business is positioned as a market leader, but to stay ahead of competitors, you need the right tool for digital enablement. The D8 update features the ability for users who come from Drupal 6 and 7 to update their Migrate Drupal and Migrate Drupal UI modules a lot easier. For organizations hesitating to upgrade from an older version, this will make it a lot easier. Since the release of D8, it's been a powerful tool for technical users like devs, engineers, as well as for marketers and content creators. It can also be harnessed for agile marketing and content management efforts that require little to no prior tech knowledge. One of the best parts of Drupal 8 is that it's designed with marketers and content creators in mind, which is great news for us, because empowering your organization's conversion experts and providing them with the tools they need is one of the most important factors in enabling your organization's ability to scale effectively. Since Drupal 8's release of numerous updates and modules designed to empower Marcoms, there have been many events and workshops designed to help drive the message home that Drupal isn't just for techies. Here are some of the initiatives Drupal's been running with you in mind. The Promote Drupal initiative was a four-phased plan and a key step towards bringing perceived identity of Drupal out of the mindset of it being solely for the techie user. The initiative brings up a really good point in that if you are a technical user, for the most part, you already get Drupal. You can understand it or at least wrap your head around it. 
but sometimes there's a disconnect in helping non-technical users, like myself, for instance, to understand the value of Drupal. Drupal's always been the CMS perfect for developers to power very sophisticated development experiences. However, following a recent survey of thousands of different members of the community, a concise decision was made to focus 75% of all efforts towards the editorial experience of Drupal 8, which is a huge slice of the pie. The outcome of this has been overwhelmingly positive. We see Drupal being more and more compared to its nemesis, dare I say it, WordPress and other out of the box platforms. The next initiative was Design for Drupal. This was a crash course intended to train content creators, editors, marketers, and project managers, showcasing the ease of how Drupal 8 operates. This program really shines a light on how it's never been easier to work alongside developers to create powerful user journeys and create a better experience for your audience, not to mention a better usability and functionality for yourself. Within 20 minutes of this convention, any content creator or marketer can change the language of your entire company homepage. Within a few hours, anyone can gain the skills needed to edit web layouts, launch brand new content types, all with zero coding required. Drupal's always been an amazing platform, and not to mention free. The folks behind what makes Drupal possible are some of the world's most innovative open source experts, always ensuring the platform can easily publish a single website and share content in multiple languages across any device. With every update, I'm always amazed at the features and functionalities that the community have included. Watching Drupal evolve and become what it is today makes me even more excited to see what comes next. But for those of you who have never experienced Drupal 8, or Drupal at all, and want to know what it has to offer, the best is yet to come. Here are four reasons to become advocates within your organization and fast track your move to Drupal 8. First up, we have inline editing. After the drive to improve the editorial experience overall, we're seeing specific tools for content authors and project managers alike. In-place editing, or inline editing, is a new technology introduced in the CK Editor 4 that allows you to select any editable element on the page and edit it directly in place, and not having to go to the back end of the system to make that edit. As a result, the editor can be used to edit content that looks just like a final page. It's totally built in WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get experience, because not only the edited content looks like the final outcome, but also the page in the context where the content is placed is the real one. And not only that, but the entire Drupal interface has been optimized for mobile editing, meaning that if you were taking the bus on your commute to work like I do every day and wanted to make a quick change on your website, you can go right ahead and make the edits to the website right from your phone. Unlike in Classic Editor, there is no iframe element created for the editing area. The CSS styles used for the editing content are exactly the same as on the target page where this content is actually rendered. In the long term, knowing that your content is housed and labeled throughout your site means you can more quickly file a support ticket or explain an issue to your IT help desk in the case that something does go wrong on the site. Second up, we have workflows. Drupal 8.4 came with a stable workflow module, creating a more intuitive way to set up different workflows for different content types. This is a critical factor that will help website managers and publishers keep track of the flow of tasks. In this demo, you can see of the editorial workflow from Dries. The workflow module in 8.4 update enables you to categorize content depending on their states and transitions. These states have different tags, such as published, archived, and draft. It also lets you set up new states, such as review, depending on how you want to manage these tasks. Once you've created the states, the latest version allows you to create transitions between them. Transitions simply allow you to determine the direction of the workflow by deciding where the state should go. You can also choose which user should finish the move and from one state to another. Drupal 8.7 further enhanced these existing workflow tools by supporting features like content staging, improved notifications, and updated approval workflows and version controls. Customization of these workflows can be as granular or as high level as the manager wishes. Drupal 8.7 also supported the ability to push content across multiple teams using its workflow process. Depending on the content, it may need approval from your legal team, SEO team, local teams, and international offices before it can be pub published. We see this a lot in higher education and government sectors. Freelancing is also expected to increase in the future, meaning advanced permission sets and workflows are necessary to secure information and reduce inefficiencies. As enterprises and other organizations continue to trend towards managing distributed workflows, particularly in marketing departments, advanced workflow capabilities like those related with Drupal 7 will be increasingly important as companies scale remote teams. 
Third, we have the updated media library. Now, this was a big one. The digital asset management market is white hot and is expected to more than triple in size by 2024. Moreover, poor digital asset management costs enterprises thousands of dollars each year in lost productivity as employees spend too much time searching for files and relevant information. The Drupal community understood that the importance of having a powerful digital asset management system that is also simply used is essential. Effective management and reuse of images, videos, and other digital assets are completely essential for maintaining the efficiency of brand consistency, especially across multiple different locations around the world. My personal favorite, the bulk upload feature, is a great time-saving aspect of the new media library as well, allowing you to pull as many images as you want and upload them directly to your site. Finally, we have Layout Builder. Taking things a step further and jumping to one of the most sought after Drupal 8 updates, the long awaited Layout Builder is the open source CMS's answer to site building tools like Squarespace and Wix. The Layout Builder allows content editors to manage content and structure elements on web pages using very simple drag and drop functionality. Some of the other awesome features are a powerful template editor, multi page management, instant previews, permission workflows, and exceptional accessibility as well. Drupal 8.7 is fully navigable by keyboard. Drupal already is widely known for having one of the most robust backends of any content management system, making it a popular choice for large enterprises. Drupal 8.7 proves it's possible to have the best of both worlds. As site building tools narrow the gap between enterprise and non-enterprise websites, Drupal still stands apart. So now that we've covered some of the awesome Drupal 8 features and the initiatives specifically designed for Marcoms and people like us, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. And if you haven't heard it, Drupal 7 and 8 are fast approaching end of life. So here's a quick snapshot of the proposed timeline of the Drupal CMS as it stands today. The Drupal core committees are working tirelessly on helping us prepare the easiest website migrations as possible and to ensure that the content management system remains modern, leverages the latest technologies, performs exceptionally well, and is of course secure. We know that timelines are short and previous versions of Drupal losing support capabilities can be tough to manage. So while Drupal focuses on D9 and making migrations easier going forward, agencies like Open are supporting our clients on D7 and D8 end of life. Working with Open to create your next project means that we will be with you every step of the way of the upgrade process, which is fantastic. If I haven't mentioned it yet, I'll mention it now. We love the Drupal community at Open. Historically, Drupal would support two major versions of the platform at a time. Instead, they realized how many great websites adopted Drupal 7. They extended the support, including the platform security, for longer than normal, which allowed us all to leverage the most value as we could out of our investments. Whenever they move on to create the next great Drupal update, Open and other vendors like us are here to help you extend those platforms' lifespan with extended vendor support. Now, you'll probably see on the screen a fun Drupal 7 fact. Currently, there are about 105,000 sites in the US and 6,600 sites in Canada running on Drupal 7, which means there's a good chance that many of you should really start considering your migration plans going forward if you fall into any of those categories. The enhancements made to the already awesome D7 platform make great additions to your content, creating and editing tool belts, and allow you to accomplish much more much faster. For me personally, Layout Builder was the update that really changed things and pushed the needle for us. The day we made that update, we saw a noticeable increase in the amount of projects we could complete. What would have taken hours now takes minutes. Now back to our original question. Why migrate to Drupal 9 at all? Well, the easy answer is you don't really have to yet. The best part about Drupal 9, as Dries said, is that it's built from Drupal 8, meaning that the upgrade path has been carefully designed to be much easier. The implementations that the Drupal community has previously created along all of Drupal 8's lifespan over the years means that the latest version of Drupal 8 will be a stable release and supported for quite some time. Providing that you are running Drupal 8 and caught up on your updates, making the move from D8 to D9 will be a breeze. However, as we mentioned before, moving from D7 to D9 will take a little bit more time. So far, thousands of sites have already transitioned to Drupal 8 and are now ready for Drupal 9. Going from 7 to 8 will require an entire rebuild, which should be considered sooner rather than later, as many organizations will be reaching out to agencies like Open to manage their upgrade, leaving less available vendors to be able to take on your project. To further iterate this point, uh, Helena McCabe, a member of the Drupal Association, stated, instead of waiting for Drupal 9, we recommend migrating 
from Drupal 7 to 8 as soon as possible. Incorporate decision checking tools into the migration process and make sure the upgrade for Drupal 9 is as compatible as possible. As mentioned before, the last minor release of Drupal 8 between now and June 3rd, 2020, which is when D9 is slated to release, will become Drupal 9. So as promised, we have some next steps for you to take. At Open, we've been helping many large enterprises create ambitious and unique web solutions. Our websites are specifically designed to enhance your agency's lead generation, marketing conversion, and brand engagement. Working with us to create your next project means that we'll be with you every step of the way, helping you integrate comprehensive digital solutions, providing you and your users with a truly enterprise-level digital experience. Now, you don't have to take just our word for it. To show you why Drupal 9 is so great and show you all of the awesome benefits that Drupal 8's provided over the years, we started a free demo that we're calling Drupal Test Drive. You get to sit in the driver's seat with one of our Drupal experts and experience firsthand what D9 is all about. Go ahead and reach out and let us know what you want to learn and we will set it up with you with a custom live demo free of charge. We'll tailor a 30 minute experience just to your needs so you can learn exactly what Drupal has to offer and why it's used by so many companies to power their websites, internets, mobile apps, and more.